The row between Saudi Arabia and Iran has quickly escalated since Riyadh's execution of the prominent Shia Muslim cleric Sheikh Nimr al Nimr. The Saudi government on Monday not only defended its decision, but also its move to cut ties with Iran, giving its diplomats 48 hours to leave the country. The Middle Eastern rumble is expected to impact the region, but could it spread as far as to Korea and by how much will we be affected? Yi Soon fills us in. Tensions between Saudi Arabia and Iran continue to escalate following Riyadh's execution of a prominent Shia Muslim cleric, which was met with protests and an attack on the Saudi embassy in Tehran over the weekend. In response, the Saudi government cut diplomatic ties off its Middle Eastern neighbor. Iran's foreign ministry said on Monday that Saudi Arabia used the attack as an excuse. The Saudi government has taken action to sever ties when everything has been under control and there was no threat to Saudi diplomats. The intensifying rivalry between these countries is expected to resonate across the Middle East. But as for Korea, local experts say the impact will be limited, though it could add an element of instability to the country's economy. Unfortunately, our economy is highly connected to the Middle East, where more than 85 percent of our uh, energy resource and 50 percent of construction contracts come from. So yes, home oil in the Middle East is not good for our economy. The international community remains concerned that these latest developments are stoking tensions in the Middle East at a time when they urgently need to be calmed. We express our concern that related events might aggravate regional conflicts. We hope related parties enhance communication and join efforts on tackling terrorism. Now, this latest comes after Shaikh Nim Al Nim was executed in Saudi Arabia along with 46 others who were convicted of terror-related offenses. He was a driving force of the anti-government protests that broke out in 2011 in the eastern regions of the Sunni-ruled Saudi Kingdom, where the Shia minority complained of marginalization. However, the two Middle East powers have also been on opposing sides in Syria and Yemen, and fears are that sectarian clashes spread across the region. Yi Su-in, Arirang News.